Hey guys, welcome to Analytics Vidya. AI has become the silent architect of our rapidly evolving technology world today. And if uh, you think about it, as more and more businesses are adopting or plan to adopt AI, a career in this field will become extremely lucrative in the years to come. So if you are someone who aspires to build a career in the domain of AI or more specifically generative AI, then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to give you a six month step by step roadmap to learn generative AI in 2024. For simplicity, we have uh, divided this roadmap into four broad levels of proficiency, namely user, super user, developer, and researcher. In this roadmap, we shall assume that you have user level proficiency already, which is knowing how to use popular generative AI tools like ChatGPT, Bard, or Midjourney, etc. So as per our roadmap, you will first go up from a user to a super user level by gaining a deeper understanding of generative AI through prompt engineering. Once done, the next level is that of a developer where the objective is to first build and then deploy your generative AI applications using out of the box model APIs. And then you also go a notch ahead to fine tune large language models or stable diffusion models for domain specific tasks. And finally, we have a researcher level where you strive to push the boundaries of the Gen AI domain itself. Now at this point, let's explore each of these roles in detail. We begin our journey with the goal of making you a super user of generative AI. For that, you need to learn prompt engineering and its various techniques and tricks. This will take about a month. Guys, let me call this out again. To begin your uh, super user journey, you must know how to use popular generative AI tools. So understand what these tools are, what they enable you to do, and have a hands-on prompting experience of these tools. Now, let's understand what you need to learn as a super user. All right, the goal of being a super user is to explore generative AI tools to its full potential and use these tools way more effectively. So as a first step, you need to dive into the theory of uh, prompt engineering and the components of an effective, well-structured prompt. It involves considering factors such as length of prompt, structure, providing context and specific instructions to shape the response of the AI tool you are querying. We have made a detailed uh, video on this particular topic. You may check out the link in the description. Uh, at this point, you might be wondering, is there a place where you can find good examples of prompts for uh, different use cases? Answer is yes. There are a bunch of online AI uh, prompt communities like these where you can get good prompt examples to up your prompting game faster. Try them and see how a fine-tuned prompt elicit good outputs from the large language model and diffusion model. Next, I would uh, recommend you to also learn about various prompt engineering techniques. Uh, generative AI is a tool and uh, these particular techniques can teach you how to use this tool in the best way possible. Again, we have made a bunch of videos on various prompt engineering techniques. Do not forget to check them out as well. By the end of uh, the first month, you will be able to write enhanced prompts as a super user. You may also upload uh, your best prompts on various uh, prompting communities and get feedback and further fine tune your prompt thereafter. That's all about super user. Now let's see the next step in our learning roadmap. As a super user, you are essentially an end user or consumer of generative AI. But if you want to develop your own AI tools, then you need to go deeper which we are calling developer level one. Learning journey at this level should take about two months. Uh, so let's get started. Again, there are some prerequisites to this developer level one. It includes basic understanding of uh, programming language, preferably Python. So you must know Python as it uh, would be a key to interacting with generative AI model via their APIs or application program interfaces. Now let's move on to the developer level one roadmap. All right, if you are not familiar with APIs, start by understanding what they are and how they work. APIs are nothing but a set of defined rules that enable different applications to communicate with each other. Next up, specific to generative models, study all the various API parameters like temperature setting, 
max tokens roles like system user and assistant etc now focus on how these parameters can be used to control the behavior and length of the model's response then start exploring the apis of popular generative models like uh, openai's chat gpt google's uh, gemini and dali 3 or open source models like uh, falcon meta's llama or stable diffusion which is a text to image model once you are done, the next step is to master LLM tools and frameworks like Langchain and Llama Index to build your own QA systems and uh, retrieval augmented generation or RAG systems. Apart from this, learn parameter efficient fine tuning also called PEFT. PEFT methods enable efficient adoption of uh, pre-trained uh, language models to various downstream applications without fine tuning uh, all the models parameters. Plus remember most APIs have usage limits which restrict the number of uh, requests you can make in a certain time period. They may also have uh, commercial implications to familiarize yourself with these. You should also uh, understand the security aspect of using APIs and error handling if anything goes wrong. So once you are comfortable with prompt engineering and APIs, you can finally start building your own AI tools. You may use frameworks like uh, Streamlit or Gradio to uh, get started uh, on building your own app. We have already done a handful of uh, Gen AI uh, projects and uh, deployed them with the help of Gradio app. You may check them out. Additionally, you can also identify a different problem and uh, use your understanding of APIs and prompt engineering to implement your own solution by creating an AI tool. So this was the last step in the level one developer journey. Our next step is to become a level two developer. So let's continue. As a level one developer, you have interacted with the foundation models, built AI tools by consuming their APIs. Now, if you want to learn how to fine tune foundation models on your domain specific task, making them more effective for your unique application, that's where you need to level up to developer level two. We'll spend two months here as well, uh, at the end of which you will be able to develop custom generative AI tools from scratch. So for this developer level two, again, there's a set of uh, prerequisites at this level. You need uh, a deeper understanding of Python. Along with that, you need a good understanding of uh, these topics under uh, probability and statistics, linear algebra and calculus. Next, dive deeper into machine learning concepts by learning the principles of supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Also, build a concrete knowledge of deep learning architectures and frameworks. Thereafter, you must also have the knowledge of fine-tuning uh, foundational models like BERT, good understanding of attention mechanism, autoencoders, and GANs. At developer level 2, we now take a deeper dive into LLMs or uh, stable diffusion models depending upon your area of interest. If you are inclined towards uh, the NLP domain, explore popular uh, large language models like GPT-4, Gemini Pro, or uh, the open source models like Llama 2. Understand their architectures, training process, and text generation mechanism. And if you are more interested in computer vision domain, focus on learning about foundational models in the computer vision space like uh, stable diffusion models and their different types. Then learn about stable diffusion model architectures and their training process. All this while, participate in online discussions and forums to learn from others and clarify if you may have any doubt. You now have the subject knowledge that you need. Now, move on to the more hands-on part. As uh, a first step, define a specific problem uh, or a task that you want to solve using fine-tuning. Under uh, large language models, select a foundation model that is suitable for your task. While GPT-4 or Gemini Pro are uh, popular choices, they are not freely available. Open source alternatives like Llama 2 or Falcon can be a good starting point for you. For computer vision, understand how to fine-tune uh, diffusion models for various uh, downstream use cases. Then focus on how to fine-tune stable diffusion models on your custom dataset. Next comes setting up uh, the fine-tuning environment. You may use free platforms like Google Colab or Kaggle for your uh, fine-tuning. Now, if your task requires more compute, consider uh, using paid cloud uh, services like Google Cloud, AWS or Azure, which often have free credits for uh, new users. As a last step, start the fine-tuning process, monitor the training, and adjust parameters as necessary. You may use techniques like PEFT at this point. Once fine-tuning is complete, evaluate the model performance of your uh, model using appropriate metric. 
iterate and improve based on the results. Now comes the final step. Use your uh, fine tune model to build a custom AI tool. Let's say your tool could uh, be a medical diagnosis assistant that helps the doctors in diagnosing diseases. Test your tool thoroughly and uh, further refine it based on the feedback using techniques like these. By the end of this level, you will have a deeper understanding of large language models and stable diffusion models, the one that you opted for hands-on experience in fine-tuning these models and the ability to build custom AI tools on top of the fine-tuned model. At this step, you may also apply for uh, various data science roles requiring expertise in Gen AI. However, if you still want to learn further, the next stage of uh, this learning journey is that of a researcher. Let's explore what that is. The final stage of our generative AI learning roadmap begins at month 6. And uh, there is no fixed limit to when it ends. This is, uh, however, an optional step. Those who aspire to contribute uh, back to the field of generative AI can continue as researchers. As a researcher, you will uh, delve into the intricacies of building generative models from scratch, depending on the learning track you have chosen as a developer, either NLP or computer vision. Let's break down each path. If you have chosen the NLP track, here is your roadmap. Learn and implement attention models, including key query value attention, layer normalization and positional encoding. Gain hands-on experience in building your own GPT architecture from scratch. Dive deeper into reinforcement learning algorithms from basic to advanced levels. Learn about proximal policy optimization or PPO and implement RLHF from scratch. And keep up with the latest trends and research that is happening in the generative AI for NLP. Participate in relevant online communities, read research papers and attend conferences. If you have chosen the computer vision track, here is your roadmap. Learn and implement uh, diffusion models from scratch like stable diffusion. These models are uh, at the forefront of generative AI for computer vision and uh, building them from scratch will require a much deeper understanding of deep learning and computer vision. And uh, of course, training generative models for uh, computer vision can be computationally very expensive. So you might need to use high performance GPUs or cloud based uh, services like Google Cloud, AWS Azure. For your continuous learning, keep up with the latest trends and research in generative AI for uh, computer vision. Participate in relevant online communities, read research papers and attend conferences again. As a researcher, you should be able to contribute to the field of generative AI by building your own models and staying up to date with the latest research. And if you are looking for a comprehensive path to become a generative AI expert, even without leaving your current job, you can enroll in our generative AI pinnacle program. As part of this, you get a personalized learning roadmap curated just for you, along with 200 plus hours of immersive learning experience, 10 plus hands-on real-world projects, weekly one-on-one -on -one mentorship with generative AI experts, and you get a chance to master 26 plus generative AI tools and libraries. Link to the program is in the description part below. You may check that out. Additionally, you may also join our Analytics with their community platform, where you get uh, data science and generative AI uh, community groups tailored to your interest. Opportunities to learn alongside your peers and above all, you get a free access to live webinars and AMA sessions from industry experts. So this is the end of uh, the six month long uh, generative AI roadmap video. Uh, whether you start as a super user, developer or researcher, there's a world of opportunities waiting for you out there. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe to our Analytics Vidya channel for more informative generative AI videos that are coming your way. And uh, please do not hesitate to share your queries or uh, suggestions in the comment section below and we'll get back to you with our responses. That's all we had for you today. See you in the next video. Bye.